Legal shots were fired between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard back in 2022 as they went head-to-head -head in a defamation trial that had fans at the edge of their seats. Depp emerged from the trial a man of renewed reputation, meanwhile Heard came out a villain and the latest meme of the year. Let's catch up on them, shall we? Believe it or not, Amber Heard and Johnny Depp were once a couple very much in love. Admitting that they had a certain chemistry while filming for The Rum Diary in 2011, the two did not start dating until after Depp separated from his former partner of 14 years, Vanessa Paradis. According to Amber Heard, they had to date secretly for a while because Depp's split was not yet public at the time. Recalling the early rose-tinted days of their relationship, Amber recounts that she was head over heels in love with Johnny. Quote, I felt like this man knew me, saw me in a way no one else had. Unquote. They tied the knot in February 2015 after dating for three years, but things quickly turned sour. And by quick, I mean just 15 months later. Amber Heard filed for divorce citing irreconcilable differences and sought spousal support. However, the real stuff went down when less than a week after filing for divorce, Heard launched a domestic violence restraining order on Johnny Depp. Submitted evidence for the order included a photo of Heard with a bruise on her right eye. A source shared to People magazine that, quote, This was not an isolated event. This was only the latest incident, unquote. The former couple reached a divorce settlement of $7 million just a day shy of their scheduled hearing regarding the temporary restraining order. The settlement came just at the nick of time as the two seemed to be headed to even more volatile waters in the midst of settlement talks and accusations coming from both sides. In the days before the restraining order hearing, videos of Depp allegedly yelling and slamming cabinets showed up and Heard was reportedly hysterically crying and unable to provide a deposition. They released a joint statement on the settlement in People magazine soon after. Quote, Our relationship was intensely passionate and at times volatile, but always bound by love. Neither party has made false accusations for financial gain. There was never any intent of physical or emotional harm. Amber wishes the best for Johnny in the future and Amber will be donating financial proceeds from the divorce to a charity. End quote. Their divorce was finalized a year later in 2017, and Heard kept their dogs and Depp kept most of his possessions. And that seemed to be the end of it, for a while. And then the hashtag MeToo movement strikes again. In 2018, Amber Heard wrote an opened article for the Washington Post detailing how she too was a victim of domestic abuse and has experienced firsthand the struggles women face when they speak up against it. Quote, I had the rare vantage point of seeing, in real time, how institutions protect men accused of abuse. Unquote. It was this same article and words that became the subject of the defamation suit filed by Johnny Depp against Amber Heard in March of 2019. In the statement released by Depp's legal team, quote, The OPED depended on the central premise that Ms. Heard was a domestic abuse victim and that Mr. Depp perpetrated violence against her. Unquote. Johnny sought punitive and compensatory damages amounting to $50 million. Amber Heard responded by filing her own countersuit in August of 2022, in which she accused Depp of initiating a false and defamatory smear campaign against her. She also asked for Depp's initial suit to be thrown out and asked for twice the amount in damages, a staggering $100 million. Their trial began on April 11, 2022 in Fairfax County, Virginia. Lasting almost six weeks and after a two-day deliberation, the jury released their verdict ruling in favor of Johnny Depp. He was awarded $15 million in damages, but Heard will have to pay only $10 million due to the cap on punitive damages in Virginia law. And since Heard, in her countersuit, had won one of the three defamation counts, she was awarded $2 million in damages. Heard expressed her disappointment at the ruling and says it sets back the way violence against women should be taken seriously. Depp in his statement said that the jury had given him his life back. So let's now see how it's been going on for him so far. The world has been a lot kinder to Johnny Depp post-trial. After clearing the smear of domestic abuse from his name, Depp traveled to Europe after the trial to perform in a music tour with the late guitarist Jeff Beck who died in January and also filmed the French historical drama Jean du Barry, which debuted at the Cannes Film Festival in May. 
the actor also turned his attention towards the arts, reportedly making millions in just the first few hours when he released his 780 art prints at the Castle Fine Art Gallery in London. The limited edition portraits were priced at $3,973 each and a set of four prints at $15,040. As for the three-time Oscar nominee's love life, a source tells People magazine that, quote, he's been dating but he doesn't have a girlfriend, unquote. Since the trial, Depp has yet to set foot in America again, spending most of his days in Europe, especially Somerset. In an interview with Somerset Live, the local publication, Depp shared that he loves places with character. And another of Somerset's appeals is the privacy that it affords him. Quote, British people are cool and will greet you as if you are a neighbor without going over the top. Unquote. It seems after the chaos of the trial, Depp is now giving the slow life a whirl. But speaking of chaos, how are things going over with the one who got the short end of the stick after the trial? Aquaman star Amber Heard has since moved to Spain with her daughter Una Page in order to get away from the public eye and have some peace in her and her daughter's life. A source told People magazine that Heard has been focusing on her little girl and that, much like what Somerset has done for Depp, living in Madrid gave her more privacy. The source continues to say that the defamation trial was beyond stressful for the actress and she simply wanted a fresh start out of the country. Meanwhile, another source close to the actress also shared that Amber is focused on the future. Quote, She is excited about working and filming again. She was exhausted and disappointed about the trial. She felt she was mistreated. Adding, This is all behind her now though. She has new energy and is focused on things that she loves. Unquote. As for the $10 million in damages that Heard owes Depp, the two have reached the settlement in December of 2022 and Heard will have to pay just $1 million to Depp, which the actress has paid earlier this year. The Depp vs. Heard trial proved to be one of the more well-documented celebrity trials of 2022. Dubbed as the first trial by TikTok, it certainly held much of the internet's attention for most of its duration, with the Depp supporters holding sway. From TikTok videos to memes, the trial ended not just with the cleansing of Depp's reputation, but also with the downfall of Herds. A downfall which the actress seems to be primed to move past and get on with her career, recently appearing in a thriller titled In the Fire. With the release of a Netflix docu-series on their trial Depp vs. Heard, it seems its novelty will take a while to die down, something which both parties are looking forward to. Depp and Heard, once a couple who'd seem to share a steamy kiss on every red carpet, now want to put as much of their shared past behind them as possible. When the gavel banged down on this legal showdown, it left an indelible mark on the way Hollywood deals with the private lives of its stars. The blurred lines between personal and public became even blurrier, if that's possible. The Depp Heard trial raised eyebrows about the dangers of riding the hashtag MeToo wave. While the movement has been a force for change, it also opened a Pandora's box of complexities. The trial highlighted how serious issues like domestic abuse can sometimes get entangled in the web of personal vendettas and legal battles. And no matter which side you're on, I think we can all agree that the trial between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp showed us just how quickly things can go wrong when the wrong words are said in the wrong context. Context. As we bid adieu to this wild ride, let's not forget the lessons learned. Hollywood's script isn't always neatly written. Sometimes it's a messy draft with edits and rewrites. And until the next Hollywood plot twist, this is all the tea we've spilled. Stay tuned for more gossip, drama, and all things Hollywood. See you in the next video.